Okay, I'm going to show a quick video here in 2016 of a Atari Mega 2 ST booting into Mac mode via the Spectre GCR. So I'm going to reach around to the back. I've got it connected to this black and white uh, Atari monitor. So I'm starting up the Mega 2 and on the floppy A. I have the Spectre GCR software. It's a copy of it, not the original. And I'm double clicking on Spectre program. And it's going to boot up the Spectre program. It's running off of the floppy in my Mega 2 ST. Remember back in the day, some Mega 2 STs. Some floppy internal models didn't work with Spectre GCR, some did. Mine happens to work fine with it, so that's cool. I don't know if it was a shielding issue or what, but... And then I'm just going to click past these two messages about memory and hard drive, because I don't have that stuff connected to this Mega 2. And then I'm going to go up and select File, Spectre. That's going to launch the program. This It's then going to tell me to take out my floppy and I'm going to need to insert a system 6 floppy so I'm removing that and here's my system 6 copy that I have so I click OK Do you hear the Mac chime it's now going to search for system software Happy Mac. Welcome to Macintosh. You'll need your own system software, so if you don't have it, you'll need to find it on the net someplace. And there we go. We're actually booted up. Now my Atari Mega 2 ST is a old Mac. I'll just open up the floppy just so you can see that it does launch and bring up whatever I had on that floppy, which is just the very basic system folder and such. And I'll go ahead and close that. And special shutdown. Then starts flashing A, letting you know to take that floppy out how the Mac does it or on this uh, Mega 2 and then it says it's safe to power off so that's it that showed the cartridge working